Hi peeps. In this video we will be delving into the movies of Dabney Coleman. To date, his movies have made 1.3 billion dollars. Starting with The Slender Thread, released in 1965. When this video was made, the revenue information was not obtainable. This property is condemned. Released in 1966. It made $3 million. It was a bust. The Skull Hunters. Released in 1968. When this video was made, the revenue information was not obtainable. Downhill Racer. Released in 1969. At the time of this video's production, the revenue data was absent. The Trouble with Girls. Released in 1969. The amount it made was unavailable when we made this video. I Love My Wife. Released in 1970. The profit data was missing when this video was compiled. The Brotherhood of the Bell. Released in 1970. The amount it made was unavailable when we made this video. Cinderella Liberty. Released in 1973. Financial details were undisclosed during the making of this video. Dying Room Only. Released in 1973. We couldn't access the earnings information when producing this video. Savage. Released in 1973. Financial details were undisclosed during the making of this video. The President's Plane is Missing. Released in 1973. The earning figures were not accessible at the time of filming. Bad Ronald. Released in 1974. Financial details were undisclosed during the making of this video. The Dove. Released in 1974. The earning figures were not accessible at the time of filming. The Towering Inferno. Released in 1974. It made $116 million. It was a blockbuster. Bite the Bullet. Released in 1975. The amount it made was unavailable when we made this video. The Other Side of the Mountain. Released in 1975. We couldn't access the earnings information when producing this video. Attack on Terror the FBI vs. the Ku Klux Klan. Released in 1975. We couldn't access the earnings information when producing this video. Kiss Me, Kill Me. Released in 1976. Income details were unavailable when this video was developed. Rolling Thunder. Released in 1977. At the time this video was produced, earnings figures were unavailable. Viva Knievel. Released in 1977. We lacked the financial data when this video was assembled. Black Fist. Released in 1977. When this video was made, the revenue information was not obtainable. Maneaters Are Loose. Released in 1978. At the time of this video's production, the revenue data was absent. More Than Friends. Released in 1978. The earning figures were not accessible at the time of filming. The Case of the Baltimore Girls. Released in 1978. Income details were unavailable when this video was developed. North Dallas 40. Released in 1979. It made $26 million. Its success evaluation is hindered by the absence of budget or revenue data. When She Was Bad. Released in 1979. At the time of this video's production, the revenue data was absent. Prey TV. Released in 1980. At the time of this video's production, the revenue data was absent. 9 to 5. Released in 1980. 
It made $103 million. It was a hit. Nothing Personal Released in 1980 Revenue data was not available at the time of this video's creation. How to Beat the High Cost of Living Released in 1980 We couldn't access the earnings information when producing this video. On Golden Pond Released in 1981 It made $119 million. It was a winner. Modern Problems Released in 1981 It made $26 million. It was a money maker. Kelly and Son Released in 1981 We lacked the financial data when this video was assembled. Tootsie Released in 1982 It made $177 million. It was a winner. Young Doctors in Love, released in 1982. It made $31 million. It was a big hit. War Games, released in 1983. It made $125 million. It was a hit. The Muppets Take Manhattan, released in 1984. It made $26 million. It was a hit. Cloak and Dagger, released in 1984. It made $10 million. If the lack of budget or revenue data makes it difficult to gauge success. The Man with One Red Shoe, released in 1985. It made $9 million. It was a failure. The Return of Mickey Spillane's Mike Hammer, released in 1986. The profit data was missing when this video was compiled. Murrow, released in 1986. The amount it made was unavailable when we made this video. Guilty of Innocence The Lennel Getter Story, released in 1987. Financial details were undisclosed during the making of this video. Dragnet, released in 1987. It made $67 million. It was a blockbuster. Sworn to Silence Released in 1987 The profit data was missing when this video was compiled Plaza Suite Released in 1987 When this video was made, the revenue information was not obtainable Hot to Trot Released in 1988 It made $6 million It was a dud Baby M, released in 1988. Income details were unavailable when this video was developed. Maybe Baby, released in 1988. When this video was made, the revenue information was not obtainable. Short Time, released in 1990. The earning figures were not accessible at the time of filming. Where the Heart Is, released in 1990. At the time this video was produced, earnings figures were unavailable. Meet the Applegates, released in 1990. It made $486,000. It was a flop. Never Forget, released in 1991. The earning figures were not accessible at the time of filming. There Goes the Neighborhood, released in 1992. Income details were unavailable when this video was developed. Amos and Andrew, released in 1993. It made $10 million. It we cannot establish success as budget or revenue data is missing. The Beverly Hillbillies, released in 1993. The amount it made was unavailable when we made this video. Clifford, released in 1994. It made $7 million. It was a flop. 
Judicial Consent, released in 1994. The earning figures were not accessible at the time of filming. In the Line of Duty Kidnapped, released in 1995, the earning figures were not accessible at the time of filming. Which Way Love, released in 1997, it made $3 million. It assessing success is not possible without budget or revenue data. Target Earth, released in 1998, the amount it made was unavailable when we made this video. My Date with the President's Daughter, released in 1998. The profit data was missing when this video was compiled. You've Got Mail, released in 1998. It made $251 million. It was a winner. Exiled, released in 1998. We couldn't access the earnings information when producing this video. Inspector Gadget, released in 1999. It made $134 million. It was a success. Giving it up, released in 1999. Income details were unavailable when this video was developed. Recess Schools Out, released in 2001. It made $44 million. It was a blockbuster. Moonlight Mile, released in 2002. It made $10 million. It was a failure. The Climb, released in 2002. Revenue data was not available at the time of this video's creation. Where the Red Fern Grows, released in 2003. Income details were unavailable when this video was developed. Recess All Growed Down, released in 2003. We couldn't access the earnings information when producing this video. Recess Taking the Fifth Grade, released in 2003. The profit data was missing when this video was compiled. Domino, released in 2005. It made $23 million. It was a dud. Rules Don't Apply, released in 2016. It made $4 million. It didn't make a profit. Thanks for watching our video on Dabney Coleman. What's your favorite Dabney Coleman movie? Which actor should we feature next? Let us know in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe.